Hello everyone, welcome back to the phone museum. Today we are going to look at Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. This model came out in 2020 April. Inside of this tablet, it has 10 nanometer Samsung's own Exynos 9611, which has Cortex A73 quad core and Cortex A53 quad core with Mali G72 tri core. It is similar to Exynos 8890 or Snapdragon 820 from back in 2016. Also, 4GB RAM with 1664 or 128GB UFS 2.0 storage with micro SD card slot. In front, it has 10.4 inch 5x3 ratio, which is 2000 by 1000 and 200 pixels LCD display which has 224 pixels per inch. I bit disappointed that this model does not have an AMOLED screen because Samsung's Tab S series the key point is the AMOLED display when Galaxy Tab S came out. Well for after this model Tab S7 and Tab S7 FE also have on LCD display, so I guess Samsung changed the Tab S line is just flagship device, not an AMOLED display model. I personally prefer AMOLED display because deep deep black and vivid colors. This model has an LCD screen, so it is not as deep black or vivid color as an AMOLED, but for LCD, it is pretty good quality display and does not have to worry about the burning issue as well. For the screen, many people think the 5x3 ratio is a really strange ratio, but back in the old time, Galaxy S or S2, also Nexus S has 480 by 800 pixels, which is 5x3 ratio. Also, Nexus 4 and Optimus G has 1280 by 768 pixels, which is 5x3 ratio as well. So it is not as strange as what people think. And it, this model also supports Wi Fi 12345 and Bluetooth 5.0 for satellite, GPS, GLONASS, and uh, Beidou as well. There's a 5 megapixel camera with f2.0. And on the back, there's 8 megapixel camera with f1.9. And tablet itself, there's a Samsung logo and there's an AKG logo as well. Which means these two stereo speaker uh, is sound by AKG. It is pretty good quality. We can check it in later. And for the uh, left or top, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, a mic, and a speaker. On the top or left, there's a power button and a volume buttons. And there's another mic. And there's a SD card tray. If you're buying LT model, probably there's a SIM card tray as well. On the bottom or right, there's uh, another speaker. You know, there is a Type-C charging or data syncing connector which support up to 15 watt repeat charge but inside of the box only includes 7.75 watt charger. Or should I be grateful that they did not remove a charger at all? Anyways, on the here, there's nothing. Inside of this tablet, there's a 7040mAh battery and inside of box, it comes with S Pen. Unlike Apple, you don't have to buy it separately, which is really nice move to Samsung. Uh, this pen support up to 4096 level of pressure and a tilt, and also the same as iPad Air or Mini, it has 28 millisecond latency as well. Uh, this model is an Oxford gray color, but it has Angular blue and Siphon pink colors as well. This is 7mm uh, thick, so it is not too thin, but not too thick neither. And this is Samsung's Officer uh, book cover. 
so you can buy it in separately and this one has a hole sensor so when I close it turn off the screen automatically when I turn turn on the screen is turned on as automatically as well and I can make as a stand like so or up to here so there's a, a magnetic so it's pretty secure to using like this when iPad 2 came out the Apple's smart cover was really outstanding and but now I prefer this one better than I have to make in triangle to make a stand and also there's a magnetic so you can put your pen up here but this one does not support any Bluetooth connectivity so it's not charging or nothing it's just uh, sitting right there but when you're buying the cover I can see it up right here Anyway, let's do a simple size comparison with the other tablet. This is 10.4 inch Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and this is iPad Air 4 which has 10.9 inch. And this one is a 5 by 3 and this one is a 4.3 by 3. So there's different ratio. On the back, this is silver color and this is Oxford gray color and for the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Which has 12.4 inch screen. It's about like this This is 10.4 inch this is 12.4 inch so this is 2 inch uh, larger on the back It's like this the funny thing is uh, Tab 7 Plus, the color is a mystic black and the black is a uh, lighter than gray. It's kind of funny, but anyways, it's easy to wake up by the double tap. Then you can see Samsung's basic uh, One UI 3.1 uh, lock screen. For the clock face, the location of clock face and color and those kind of stuff, everything you can customize over with the Samsung School Lock app. So I will not go over deeply about it. But one thing I really love about the One UI is the Samsung's dynamic background. It is changing every time when I turn on the screen, like so. And I, I can change the category uh, up to five and every two weeks each uh, update the picture the wallpaper picture is really really good co uh, quality and it's update every two weeks so almost every day a uh, fresh background awesome and let's unlock then there's typical samsung's uh, one ui 3.1 home screen i think one of the big feature of galaxy tablet is multitasking Windows can do more things, but I feel like Windows tablet is more like two-in-one PC than a tablet itself. So in tablet category, I think Galaxy has the most powerful multitasking. iPad OS improved a lot, but I think it's still not as many features as Galaxy does. This one can open up to three different apps. For example, internet, I can open it full screen and then I want to watch YouTube. I can put right here and I want to use a calculator. Then up here I can open up up to three and I can uh, change the ratio freely. The one bad thing about the iPad, the ratio is uh, only three different setup. Little contents, many contents were half and half many content little content those three only three different ratio but this one you can free to change the ratio by m myself and also i can change by different order so before it was a like vertical horizontal horizontal but now i changed to all three apps or horizontal mode one bad thing about the ipad it only support vertical vertical multitasking. I, I, I cannot choose horizontal, horizontal or other option. And of course, like for example, 
in the picture for I open the Samsung Note I can easily drop in for the picture as well and for example for note opening pop-up I, I can watch YouTube for example watching YouTube and I make a, a change of transparency I can draw while the video is playing and I can write a note about it. So I think this is really useful doing the online scrolling I guess. So multitasking is really outstanding but I'm missing one feature from the, the old, old school Galaxy Note Pro which is Note Pro can open up to four apps, four different apps. Right now four different internet is opening right here. Many people are asking me why do you need open four different apps in one time but in my case when I searching something then it's really easy to compare four different items in one time so hopefully in future they update so I can open up to four different apps that will be nice also many people like customizing their calendar I guess so in Samsung they had those kind of future since the original Galaxy Note which from 2011 so of course I can add sticker like this if I want to change just change like this and then I can handwrite and I can customize uh, my calendar so for example this is movie night something like that and I can draw like little popcorn sorry for my drawing popcorn let's call it popcorn anyways and for like here I can write California so there's like California weekend something like that I can customize those calendar many people think about this model because it has a S Pen for the note taking for note taking I prefer use Samsung's S Note but Tab S7 Plus does not support S Note anymore so I start using Samsung Notes app and it has many updates since it launched and now it's really one of the best notes app so let's talk about the Samsung's Note for example when I try to open the PDF the S Note I have to convert PDF one by one every time but this one when I open the Note I can just simply open with the Samsung Notes then it's all open for me and I can save it then I can add it when I try to add with the pen, I can of course write, draw the line, those kind of stuff. Just simple thing. And as you, s you can see, I can write and I click the button and using as a uh, eraser. But I can change saying to so setting to the uh, sketch eraser or area eraser. When I do area eraser, then it's only by the area. In the sketch it's like just one sketch by one like so because of this feature I cannot open the uh, air command when on the any screen I click the button there's an air command pop-up came out but in here I cannot use air command so one way to using air command is in my case I just using little apps and make it really small and let's hide it in here then click in here I can use the air command one of the best feature of the air command is I can translate so right now it translate for me so this is one of the good feature of the galaxy and also in here you can add 10 different paper uh, pens and you don't have to click here every time because you can drag to you can change 
anytime easily. This is a little tip. And many people complain about uh, Samsung's S Pen does not have uh, tilt function and those kind of stuff. But when they're using a pen, of course there's no tilt for pen. I never seen pen have a tilt kind of stuff in the rear pen. So when I go to drawing, there's a pencil. You can see there's a tilt. When I'm using this one, you can see even better in camera. Also, it has pressure sensitive as well. Like so. And I like the, this feature, or paint brush. This, the fun thing is, I write and the color is changed by, by the, on the paper. So, I mix the color, for example, this one and this one. And I like this color, then I just using spoil and select uh, this color. Then I can use it. Something like that. So that's fun to use. Highlighter, I can draw in straight line or there's a little neat shape function. But this one is when I drawing the little rectangle, then it changed to the shape so I cannot erase. I have to delete and doing something that. But when I turn off, I just make a little rectangle and hold, then it translate automatically for me. Then I can erase by the area like so. So this is really useful for especially when I drawing the graph. So for example, I'm drawing the graph. This pen is a little thick, but something like that. And when I'm drawing the graph, this is really useful. Of course, it can convert to the heart as well. A round, triangle, those kind of stuff as well. So it's really useful. And let's go to the Samsung's PenUp app. This PenUp is like an Instagram kind of stuff, uh, social media, uh, social network. So in the home, you can see the people drawing and you can click and you can see the comments and those kind of stuff. Also, you can share your own picture as well. And there's a coloring book so you can select the coloring so you can color color the vehicle or you can color by the uh, area as well so after you finish after you finish you can post on the pen up as well and if you're really terrible at draw drawing like me, then for example like this one, I can learn how to draw. You can faster up to X8. The good thing is I can pause and I can follow exactly. And it select the same pen color as well. So I can just drawing and then learn how to draw that easy right and i download some free drawing apps for android the one is artflow this is what i draw for like testing in here uh, there's a layer so you can turn on or off the each layer right right now this is free mode so it's uh, limited up to three layer but you can pay the money to add uh, add on more layers as well. And for pen, there's a different brush. If you change to this kind of brush, then you can buy it or you watch ad to uh, limit time to use 
this brush for free. For painter, it's a just simple drawing app as well. Nothing special. This one changing colors as well like this. It's pretty cool. And sketchbook. This one is really one of famous app I think. It even Galaxy Note Pro has this app as well. This one also support different layers. So I can turn up the this layer. Then of course this one support tilt and pressure as well, but does not support eraser. It's same as the other two apps as well. There's brush, spray, pen, those kind of stuff. And for Medibank Paint, I heard this app is really good as well. In this one, ah, like this. So I can make a cool image really easily. And then this one. Yeah, this one put the color by the area. Like so. And this one is like make a little gradation. Those kind of stuff. I think it's pretty cool. For the Evis Paint X. This is a fun app as well. In this one, I draw and then and then I can change like like this. I think this is really cool. I'm really sorry that I have a lack of professional information about the art, but Either th those five apps are really pretty good uh, drawing application, includes Samsung Notes. So today, we will look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite Little Spec, Multitasking, Calendar, Note Taking, and some drawing apps. Next time, I will go over the key feature of Galaxy Tablet and gaming performance as well. So please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you so much.